Billy Idris has enough money to buy 10 Conan's eggs and 90 McLarens and still have millions of dollars left over. So why does she choose to drive a Dodge Challenger? All I want is a matte black Dodge Challenger. This specific Mopar is Billy's first car and her dream car. It was a gift from her music label when she turned only 17. My dream car is in my driveway. She likes her matte black 3.6 liter V6 whip so much that she even gave it a name. The Dragon. According to her, it's fast, sleek, comfortable, and not too showy. Her two other cars are the $2.5 million Kona Sega Zero RS and the $300,000 McLaren 600 LT. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the most jacked Austrian I know, once spent $35 million on a Gulfstream 3 private jet and a tank. Given Arnold's track record of buying wild things he's always dreamt of, you might think he drives a $5.2 million Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport or maybe a Rolls Royce Phantom Limo, but no. My boy Arnold drives a 6.1 liter V8 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8 like a true Schwarzenegger. My nigga. With its exciting color, nutting V8 engine, and erotic quarter mile time of 3.4 seconds. <laughs> The 2008 Dodge Challenger is an absolute Schwarzenegger essential. Arnold seems like the type of guy that would buy this muscle car and just drive it on the weekends because it's sunny outside. So, 20th place. Ben Affleck is the lad that has dated more baddies than I can count on my fingers. Thanks to his Chad look and $150 million net worth, he has multiple AMGs, a Ford Bronco, a Bentley, a Range Rover, and a legendary 2015 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. Fun fact. This iconic heli is also owned by comedian and friend anyone could wish for, Adam Sandler. Both Ben and Adam were seen driving their Hellcats in the streets of Los Angeles and loving the presence of paparazzis. See you later, buddy. Two G's with two Hellcats. That'll be the next blockbuster right there. But my movie idea might have worked better in the early 2010s because the Dodge models are kind of old. That's why I ranked both at a solid 19. Hulk Hogan drives a black Chargers red eye wide body and a red Challenger Hellcat. But I can't stand his mustache. 18. John Wall, former Rockets point guard, drives a devilish looking Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat wide body customized by Champion Motoring. The car has been wrapped in matte red and features various yellow accents, such as the SRT Hellcat logo, Hellcat badge on the fenders, plus both of the Dodge letter ring and the Charger inscription on the trunk lid, and yellow calipers. All that red mixed with a tiny bit of yellow reminds us of various generic Ferrari colorways, but you see, John's net worth is 160 M's, but he's still in love with Mopars. Certified Hellcat Boy, 17. The most popular, known, famous, superstar, fabulous, well-known, prominent, renowned, notable, eminent football running back of all time. Stop the cap. Antonio Gibson has a godlike automotive collection, but his coolest car has to be his 2020 wide-body Dodge Charger Hellcat Daytona edition. Only 500 units were made, featuring custom starlight headliner, blacked out, custom candy blue Daytona strip, custom door logos, floor lighting, candy painted emblems, candy painted brakes, and window tint. It's a cool car, but not better than the next whip. Wiz Khalifa is worth $70 million and drives an iconic 2017 Dodge Charger. This yellow thing was hand delivered to him by Dodge themselves, greeting him for his performance of the Furious 7 soundtrack, See You Again. <laughs> Man, that shit still makes me cry to this day. It's a solid 15 rank. John Morant is the Memphis Grizzlies point guard and he's worth a whopping $50 million at 24 years old. His car buying habits are the most wicked. John Morant thought he was a Don and bought a Rolls Royce Don, a Jeep Trackhawk, and a custom Dodge 392 Scat Pack that caught my eye. It boasts a dual tone black and red interior to go with the custom black Forgiato wheels, featuring a red set of calipers. These charges are still quick off the mark, with power coming from that 392 Hemi V8 unit, putting down 485 horses. You'll be hitting 60 MPHs from a standstill in about 4.4 seconds, although Morant could probably achieve those numbers on his own. Another super known celebrity that everybody from my mom to my grandma and my niece talks about. Jadavian Clowney. Who the fuck is that guy? NFL linebacker of the Baltimore Ravens got a QB seeking missile. His SRT Demon got a blacked out appearance with custom painted emblems, a new sound system featuring LED custom enclosure and tinted windows. You could say that it's still mostly stock, which is good if you care about resale value. This Demon. Actually reminds me a little bit of Lonzo Ball's car, the NBA player, which also features a blacked out aesthetic, except that his balls pause, pause, pause. I mean, Ball's ride comes with a large 22 inch black pause, Forgiato wheels and a Vanta black finish. 
Clown balls are both, I mean, clowning balls are both that 13th rank. Number 21, 21, I mean 12. We got 21 Savage, the classiest British man that ever existed. Hold up. 21 Savage, the Slaughter King, takes great pride in his collection of Nike Tex tattoos and last but not least, supercars. With his most infamous ride undoubtedly being his Dodge SRT Demon that starts at $100,361. His is candy red and fits well with his overall vibe. The vibe of a serial killer. At 11th place, we got Kai Sinet's Red Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. I'd like to clear up that there's clearly nothing wrong with this picture. Right? Lil Baby, the rapper from Atlanta, believes in doing things so different. Not only is his rapping and flow never ever seen before, but he also has cars that other rappers don't own. Lamborghini Urus, Rolls Royce Cullinan, G-Wagon, Maybach, very unique. And the one we all waited for, his custom matte black Hellcat Red Eye. There's some decent thought process behind this Hellcat, so for the thought process and only the thought process, I'll put it at 10th place. Like what's your thought process behind the whole Quentin Jackson, aka Rampage, is an icon in the wrestling game. He once said, I've always been a fighter in and out the cage. This is a quote that he lives by as having a crew gangster car, the Dodge Challenger SRT8, fully customized with black and red details including the rims and the pinstripes. His Mopar was so iconic that it was featured in the video game Forza Motorsport 4. Ah, who remembers Forza? Childhood memories, man. Look, just for that, he deserves ninth rank. What about a real car collection that comes straight out of a video game? Ladies and gentlemen, that's Chief's Keefs one. In the summer of 2022, Sosa rolled in the Scooby-Doo time machine. But what we're most curious about is the rapper's white red eye that catches the eye. With a black hood, green custom lights and the design, plus the sound makes us all horny. Hold on, bro. Let me play that back. What the fuck? Chief knew what he was doing by taking his Hellcat to, short description, full auto center vehicle modification specialist auto body collision repair specialties. RDBLA. Offset loves Cardi B and coffee as much as the next person. So he decided to share his passion to his car, a Dodge Challenger SRT Demon that's guaranteed to turn heads, even in the extremely dense go fast machine population of the city. And it all has to do with the cappuccino finish of the Mopar machine. We're looking at an 840 horsepower animal with a fade wrap, one that goes from pearl tan up front to a pearl brown at the rear end. As the keen-eyed among you have already noticed, the brake calipers match the said shade, while the Demon logo on the front fenders also comes in brown. This thing is hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Seventh place. Well deserved. Bravo, Offset. Bravo. Just by his appearance, you think this guy drives a blacked out van or a Harley Davidson? Nope. Slipknot member Jim Roots is a very fresh young man that owns a white 2021 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Super Stock Wide Body. The last car I think about when I wonder about rock and roll. His 6.2 liter V8 equipped Challenger Sports, a Borla exhaust, and a wicker bill spoiler, diffuser, and side skirts. The 8-speed shiftable automatic has 807 horsepower and 707 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels. This super gothic $96,000 car is better than some of you rappers' favorite whip. 6 rank. McCole Hartman Jr. bought a Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye and took it to DreamWorks Motorsports who did a custom color changing wrap, custom painted gloss black and yellow accents and brakes, JL audio subsystem with LED lit custom enclosure and logo, custom starlight headliner with shooting stars, custom color changing undercarriage LED lighting, and interior accent lighting. This one is sexy. I can't lie. I've never seen a Hellcat with this type of rap. That's why I put Kerry McCole Hardman's car at top five. Hellcat owner at fourth place is the woman magnet himself, Duke Dennis. Dookie's Hellcat Black Ghost is an iconic and a modern version of the 70s Dodge Challenger. Only 300 of the Dodge Challenger Black Ghost models have been produced, all in pitch black. And Dennis the Menace is one of the proud owners. Even after paying between 200 and 300 grand for his car, he still keeps a smile on his face. Lucifer's, I mean, Lil Uzi Vert's slowest car in his collection is this Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat that got many, 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 
many, many transformations throughout the years. But things went south when he went to customize his Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat for himself, the SUV version from Dodge made for eager dads. The whole project is quite eye-catching and deserves the wide body suffix. The fender flares linked together by fatter side skirts decorating the profile. It has a bigger chin spoiler, tweaked rear skirt, and privacy windows too. Third place, because did you ever see something like this on the streets of your hometown? Don't, don't lie in the comments. I'm watching y'all. Kevin Hart is a gearhead at heart. His collection includes a 1996 Pontiac GTO, a 1959 Chevrolet Corvette convertible, a Jeep Wrangler, a 1977 Ford Bronco, a 1965 Mustang convertible, a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. But here's the best of the best, a classic 1970 Dodge Charger. Perfect for a tall guy like Kevin. Built by Wisconsin-based tuner Speedcore in 2015, this full carbon charger was completely redesigned. And instead of his stock Hemi, it was fitted with a humongous 1,650 horsepower Mercury Racing V8. Taken from a competition speedboat. Yes, a freaking speedboat. It's estimated at $400,000, but I have three words to describe it. Completely worth it. After the tallest guy on the list, of course we have the shortest one, with an estimated net worth of roughly half a billy. Shaquille O'Neal could be excused for exclusively rolling around in some of the market's most expensive and premium cars. However, Shaq remains a real performance car enthusiast and recently picked up the keys to a modified Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Widebody. This particular Charger has been altered by a company known as Forbes Performance. It is apparently the third Charger the tuner has built for the former nba -er, and it's all about looking mean and breathtaking levels of performance. The changes made to the Dodge start at the front end, where a new hood has been fabricated with a larger power bulge and air intake. Forbes Performance also has fitted an SRT badge on the front grille that is illuminated red and complemented it with the new LED daytime running lights that are also red. The car also has this green element in the headlights that shines an alien-like shape onto the road. Jack's Hellcat is arguably the best on the list. First place. After all, if you ever become a millionaire one day, would you still drive a Mopar like these celebrities do? Thanks so much for watching, guys. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell us whose celebrity car collection you want to see next on The Celebrity Cars.